Hello everybody, this is gonna be a trade recap of a third touch setup which is probably the highest rewarding setup. Why? Because you're taking super super small risk, super tight stop loss for a huge run, okay? So this is the example, this example is being taken on BTCUSD, the setup that we have been waiting for was posted on the 27th of March. 27th March, you can see the liquidity 26600 and the next session point of control at 26510. Now, if we take a look at the Bitcoin range, if, you, if we mark out this low, which got front run over here, and then we actually come swing fell apart in the low, we actually tap the next session point of control. You can see the low of the candle low of the candle is 26477 so we have taken out the liquidity from there and what actually happens in this section over here okay you have a nice move up you range bout you range bout for probably monday 4 30 until tuesday new york open pretty much and essentially the third touch setup is that you have a horizontal level here, you have a price level, 26600, then you take out the level, then you backtest the liquidity level, which is your third touch. First touch, second touch, third touch, okay? Now, the confluence which we factored in was a huge bullish divergence. Just look at the numbers. So essentially, if I take a look, the CVD is at minus 106 million, and then on the third touch setup, you get minus 147 so you are absorbing literally 50 million worth of shorts which if you start squeezing you're gonna have a move to the upside equivalent to their liquidations so essentially you can see even back down here you see a huge negative delta huge volume net shorts piling in but this is the thing you want to take risk you want to take you want to take worthy risks why because when you're back testing the level if you get involved your stop loss is below this low you have a 120 dollar stop loss and then if you're actually targeting the overall half the range you get this huge risk reward setup which is like 1 to 20 um which is i would say pretty spectacular in my opinion taking a trade like this is it's worth to know, it's worth to be educated and know what you're doing, to be honest with you. But my main point is that you get a level, then swing further parts in the level, and then you retest the same level, I would say, with the bullish or bearish divergence, okay? On the CVD. No RSI, no nothing like this. I don't care about these indicators. I care about the delta, I care about the market orders. Orders, orders that are coming in so yeah i hope this is nice and very clearly explained to you guys if you have any questions about this setup just let me know